we've set up a network such that we can access a web server from from another network and that, that that all works well and that's fine except that to access the web server we need to type in the IP address here and we can't at this stage put in put put in the um, domain name for that so we just need to put in the IP address which is which is not ideal so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a domain name server to allow us to type in the domain here so we can access the web server so let's get going with that so we're going to put a domain name server onto a new onto a new network here so that's this can be our, our domain name server I'm going to start again with this router I'm just going to remove that and then just just set up that again so just attach now to this I've got three three network interface cards now and we're just going to make sure that they're set up correctly so let's put the cables in and let's set up the, the router now so we've got that all correctly uh, set up in place so this one here this is network um, yeah that's right it's the correct network zero network so I'm going to put the 0 0.1 there so that's, that's the IP address for that this one here refers to the network address 192.168.1 zero so actually for that should now be 1.1 and then this one here now is we'll, we'll do a completely new network for this we'll just have 3.3.3. just go with 3.3.3.1 for that and we now have our have that configured correctly we just need to just put automatic routing for that as well so I think we're we're good with that router. I can't see any any problems there. Just double checking that. Okay, so route is all good. Now let's configure our domain name server. So let's go to here, configure. So this now is on IP address uh, on network 3.3.2. That can be, and the gateway is the 3.3.3.1. So that that's all good. And that's our domain name server. And I'm just put that in there. Three point three point three point one. Now we don't don't think we need to put in the domain name server. Obviously, it is a domain name server, so we don't need to specify that there. What we do need to do is we need to specify a domain name server on on all the other all the other machines. So the domain name server now is actually that is not correct on here this should actually be 3.3.2 there we go that's the IP address of that so there we go that should be correct now so make sure that's all that's all good so let's go on to here now configure this up make sure this is now aware of what the, where the domain name server is so 3.3.2 and again we can set that up for, for all the rest of the machines 3.3.3.2 we need to know where it is as well. 3.3.3.2. And you get the idea. So 3.3.3.2. 3.3.3.2. And 3.3.3.2. There we go. So that's that's the domain name all set up. So let's now, and this is the moment of truth, let's now if, see if we can access this web server uh, using. Well, first of all, let's see if we can access the web server. Let's just let's just test that out and see if that actually is working for us. So let's play this. Uh, we've already got our on here. We already should have the web server working, which it is. That's that's all good. And we already have installed on this one our our web browser. So let's just check that we're able to access that. So let me just refresh that. All that's all good so it looks looks all good so that's all fine there that that's that seems fine but let's see now if we can actually you know, use the domain name well we can't because we haven't set it up properly yet so let's go to the domain name server here we need to install on here the domain name server let's go on here apply changes and let's open this up and we need to now identify the corresponding host name with the IP address. So the IP address of the web server is 192.168.1.4 and domain name we're just going to call it www.phileas.com. Make sure that's that correct. 
quickly and then we're going to add that now as we have the corresponding IP address with the domain name and then we'll start the domain name server so now hopefully when we put in the domain name here it should allow us access to that web page so if we put this in then we'll do a start here and that all looks that all looks good yep so that, that's all good and seems seems to work work well so there we go that is now able to access a web web server using a domain name server as well